welcome to another video. It's gonna be messy today, so let's hope for the best. <laughs> I wanted to do a kind of video concept in which I was trying to finish as many books as possible in a day. I've had this idea in my head for a while now. For this reason, I've always waited for a day in which the circumstances would be right. Like I would have a clean flat in which I could vlog in and I would preferably have nothing going on in that day. Um, turns out there is no such day. <laughs> it's either my flat that is way too messy for me to film in or I have something going on, at least one thing. Today, two of those things are true. My flat is a collection point for garbage at this point, and I have something going on in the evening. Um, I'm gonna give myself a whole 24 hours, I think, to kind of do this thing, and it is now 9.45 in the morning. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish Midnight Library, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I've got about 20 pages to go and then I'm gonna move on. There will be some audiobooks today, at least one I know of, which is about an hour long or something that I wanted to get to anyways. So I'm gonna do that today. And there are some books that have been waiting on my shelf for exactly this opportunity and who inspired me to do this video because they're very short and simple and I don't know, look like they're entertaining. I hope that I will be able to film in more corners than just this one. Or that I will be able to jump over my shadow and just show you like the mess, which I don't think so today, okay? I, I'm not feeling it. So hopefully I will be able to clean the flat, clean another spot while I'm listening to the audiobook and then check in at another place for you. Because it's fucking boring to always film in front of the same background. I know, trust me but I'm not prepared for today in the slightest. Although I've been thinking about this concept for, you know, weeks now. Anyways, let's get to the reading because time is pages. Am I right? Okay. Welcome back to the same angle. I haven't cleaned up yet, but I have finished the Midnight Library. Cool. <laughs> Any thoughts? Glad that it's over. Any other thoughts? It is pseudo-philosophical. I think there is like this kind of live your life, love your life message that is kind of reminding me of a self-help guide in story format. Yeah, well overall we were just not at the same wavelength. So, as an audiobook, I would like to read Ich hab nichts gegen Frauen, du Schlampe by Sarah Bosetti, which translates to I don't have anything against women. You bitch. And apparently it's a collection of poetry where the author, Sara Bassetti, received a bunch of hate uh, comments, hate mails, something like that. And she took her time to answer each of these people um, by writing a poem to them. And during that time I'm gonna try and make some space in my living room so that the next time you see me it will be at a different angle. How does that sound? Perfect, right? I am excited actually, like this is already the first book on my finished stack and I hope that there are going to be some more. Let's go, Sarah Bassetti, I don't have anything against women. You bitch. <laughs> now that is tilted. <laughs> wow. Huh. So, here we are, as promised. This is another angle. Great. Hi, Charlie. Yes. Um, I finished. I finished a poetry book. Uh, it was delightful. There were actually like pretty good poems in there. I thought like I'm not an expert on poems at all. Like I don't really read poetry, um, but I like them. Now it is eleven thirty-five. And I am really hungry right now, so I'm gonna get myself some food to eat and I'm gonna pick my next book. I've got like these books on here, which all kind of qualify for this day. Two uh, Neil Gaiman works on here. This one, The Sleeper and the Spindle, is one of his short stories, which I just found money. 
okay? I should open more books if that is what what is gonna fall out of them. I think that is very self-explanatory why, you know, graphic novels or books with a lot of, of pictures and big pictures in it would be suitable for the day. Then I have this one by him, which is fortunately The Milk, and it's a children's book. And this I'm gonna read for sure, because it's like, it's so short, and has like paintings and big font. So it shouldn't take that long. Um, then I have, okay, then I have these two, which are potential reads, but probably I'm not gonna gravitate towards them. Um, this one is by an Austrian author, Peter Handke, who, I think it's a play, it's called Über die Dörfer, which is Over the Villages. Peter Handke is known for his big font in books, and I know that you can read them in an afternoon, but generally, when I read those, I would like, like, I prefer to not read anything else. His texts, most of the time, provoke you to think, and are not that superficial. Anyway, another book along those lines is Read the Book, uh, or Lies das Buch, uh, which is a collection of short stories by renowned German, maybe even Austrian authors. And this is directed to people who have trouble reading in any sort of way. May it be a problem in understanding what is written or because you have a visual impairment so that the font is also bigger or you're just trying to learn a language and you want to read a book with kind of substance in it. I thought about maybe reading this over the course of the day so that I would, you know, read a short story here and there and then at the end of the day I maybe will be able to finish it because after all this has like almost 300 pages and then I have these two which both of those are recommendations that I got from Cat Paperback Dreams not personally I just follow her on Goodreads and I think for both of these she she gave them three stars and she said that they were you know if you're looking for something horror related then you could enjoy these these have very few pages this one doesn't even have a hundred. Like the chapters are super short and they have this huge gap um, on one side of the chapter. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's very spaced out. And then the Ballad of Black Tom, which is like similar <laughs> in the spacing. It has a little bit of a na more narrow font and a couple of more pages it has 150 pages but nonetheless this is a possibility so i think i've showed you enough options uh how do i feel like um i think i'm gonna start with fortunately the milk woohoo done with book number three i read fortunately the milk it is now half past 1 pm so i think i am on a good track right now. There has been a minor mishap in my life that upset me pretty much, so I think that right now I am in the perfect mood for reading something more dark, um, which is why I'm probably gonna start The Pale White. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot to talk about, fortunately, the milk. I guess I'm gonna do a wrap-up uh, either in the middle or the end of the month, so I'm gonna talk about it more in detail there, but it was very chaotic. Um, you know, it's not directed at me or my generation. It's like, it's for children. So yeah, I don't really feel able to judge it for that matter. Anyways, I'm gonna read The Pale White now. Oh, I am tired. <laughs> it is now 20 minutes past three o'clock PM and I have managed to um, get to half, a bit more than half of the pale white, which is page 62. I've just, you know, as a breather, um, turned on an audiobook, which was an Hercule Poirot short story, you know, Agatha Christie, um, called The Wasp's Nest. Fun little story, only lasted for like 20 minutes, and I don't know if it's part of a greater collection of Poirot short stories but I just found it and it's like an independent book on Goodreads. Anyway, so with that I am now at four books 
and a half um, going on five. I'm doing pretty well, much better than I would have ever expected. I think I've still got around three hours to go, like that I can dedicate to fully just reading, but I am getting really, really tired right now. And maybe I'm gonna take a quick nap um, and then wake up and read some more. But maybe I'm also just gonna push through this one, uh, which it's not really a push through. It's, it's surprisingly um, exciting to read this. Hello, hello, another check-in. So I have just finished The Pale White. Actually, not just, I think about an hour ago or something. Um, and it was surprisingly wholesome <laughs> for a horror book. Horror? I, I don't even know. It's not a thriller, it's not really thrilling, but there are gruesome scenes. Dark. It's dark. Um, anyways, I started Saga, uh, the second part. I am now, I think, somewhere in the middle of it. Um, beautiful drawings. I love I love the creatures of Saga. I am probably gonna finish this while I'm still here. I have to leave in about an hour. It's half past five right now. And I am not sure what time it will be when I come back. So that means I'm also not sure if I will be able to film anything else today. This whole video concept has a lot of air for improvement, um, but it is what it is. So I will let you know whatever happens. Uh, bye. See you, at what time ever that may be. Back where we started the whole misery. So right now it is the day past yesterday and the challenge has officially ended. I forgot the time at which I began the whole thing, so I should have noted that like somewhere I should have written it down. I didn't, um, but it's definitely past the time that I started this whole thing. Yesterday, I didn't read. <laughs> read anything anymore. I was just too exhausted. Well, I read, actually, I read half of the third volume of Saga and then I fell asleep and I wanted to continue right before, you know, the, the time limit was over. Um, but I slept in, <laughs> so I didn't do that. So officially, I haven't managed to um, read this one. Let's look at the books that I actually was able to read. So this is the physical stack. It's not a lot, but it's like for a day, I think it's okay. Um, this might be a cheating one, the Midnight Library, because I only had like 20 pages left or something. Anyways, um, I wanted to see how many books I could finish in a day. Did I say finish or read? I'm gonna make it how many books I was able to finish in a day, okay? so. I read, I finished The Midnight Library, I, th I read, uh, fortunately, The Milk by Neil Gaiman, I read The Pale White by Chet Let's Let's Go, and I read Saga by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. <laughs> I, I'm so sure that I butchered Brian's name so hard right now. Anyways, um, and then I read two audiobooks, or I listened to two audiobooks, which was The Wasp's Nest by Agatha Christie and um, <laughs> I don't have anything against women, you bitch, by Sarah Bossetti. So what's the conclusion of this whole thing now? I don't really think there is any. I just did that for fun to see if I was able to, you know, finish a couple of books in a day. And I am, if nothing else, just a bit positively surprised by how many books I was actually able to finish until like 6 p.m., uh, which isn't even a day. And I definitely know that I could have read more if I wasn't, you know, occupied. But what I thought about when I was on my way home, which I knew going into this, but I failed to put as a dis disclaimer, in the beginning of the video was that to read books this way can really fuck with your enjoyment. I went into this being fully aware um, of the fact that this could catapult me into a reading slump. Uh, so that's why I purposefully picked out books that I either wasn't really passionate about or I just knew that they had an exciting story that I didn't have to pay full attention to all of the time. If you want to try this, 
it can be fun to see how much you can like how much progress you can actually make in a day but other than that I read books in a way that they're not supposed to be read um, at least how I don't enjoy reading them usually it was a fun experiment for me I hope you enjoyed it as well somehow I know that the video itself was pretty boring but maybe you got something out of it um, so thank you so much for watching if you came this far and I will see you at another time in another video. Bye.